This is Isaac from the Outdoor Office, and we're going to bring you another spray session. It's been about a week and a half since I've done a spray session because I've been camping. And you will see this in another video, but we'll put that aside. And we're going to do the a jerk bait in the... What do you want? Saturday Night Fever. Okay. It's going to be pretty crazy. So I've already painted like half of it. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, bud, looking good. I think I'm Let done. Let that one dry out. Yep. Okay, so, sorry to say about, but we're using the Wicked Colors Createx colors, and for the base coat, I used the Wicked White, right here, and this is the order that we are going in. We have some fluorescence mixed in here with it, but pink's going to be on the bottom, and black's going to be on top, and this is the way that we're going to go. So we're going to go with the crimson. Wicked orange, wicked yellow, fluorescent green, wicked, wicked blue, wicked, wicked purple, purple, fluorescent, fluorescent hot pink. pink. That's on the bottom. Hot and then pink. black yes. for, on top with yep. our stripes. Yep. Sweet. I can't so, wait to see what this turns out like. Get your gun loaded up and let's go. Okay, so we're only going to do the sides and top. Because the bottom is a little bit lighter pink, and we're going to try to keep the pink in there. So. Sam, devil. Got to get your go. brush. Rookie mistakes. That's fine. Covered. Look how easy that was to cover that. Yeah. Right about to there? Yep. A little tricky. Shaking. That's fine. Just calm down and have fun with it. That's all this is about. Having fun. You can see the fluorescent a little bit, but... Try to keep the bottom. Yep. Try to do a little bit more. How am I getting the bottom? Don't get the bottom. Leave it like that and just finish it off with pink. Let me see. It's looking good, buddy. And orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yep. So get the brush cleaned out. We'll go with the next color. Yep. Orange in the gun. All right. Let's go. Sorry about the fans in the background. But we gotta I'm, keep uh, the... I'm doing plastics too, so let it fade in there, bud. It don't have to be like a solid line. Fade it in there together. It's looking good, good, good. Now what I do is I come right there, yep. See how you're fading that red and orange in right there? That's not a definite line. Yeah, that's looking better. I'm trying to darken it up. That's fine. It's looking good, bud, looking good. All right, what's next? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, so we have the yellow in, and I don't know which one to do first, but because um, we have to do the crankbait yellow too, so I'll just do this one since it's quick and easy. <laughs> oh well. Yep. Hey, put it up here so I can see. I think it's a little wet. I think it's a little wet. Well, let's see. Just don't pull your trigger back as much. Now 
Fade that, fade that yellow in with that orange a little bit. Sorry, folks. He likes to put the bait right up against his face. Yeah, so I can see the mm -hmm. thing. Looks pretty good. Now, when you're doing your crankbait, uh, leave kind of the top a little bit white so your yellow and green don't I mix. It was okay. The bottom. Well, so same. Like, Kind of like right there, yeah. like that one yep. right there. Through the main part of the body. Okay. Oh! Oh, folks. Oh, wait. like that much. Yep. That'll work. Do the other side. He loves to get that right up in his face. Yeah. In your face. Because you need to see it. Okay. Is that good? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one painting it. Yes. All right. It's a little... Uh, you can darken it a little bit if you want to. Hit it up with another coat. Uh -huh. You sure? Yeah. All right. I got paint well, all over my arm. All right. What's next? Green? Green, orange, yellow, green. All right. Blue, purple, pink, black. All right. Let's keep going. Okay. So we're going to do the green, top, green, and then the... So, I'm going to do this first. Let me get over the top of it here. That looks pretty daggone mm -hmm. good. Now, see, I love the way that caught that right there. Mm -hmm. Those ridges caught that green. That looks really good. I don't think I'd do any more on that. Maybe the tip. Getting it up to my face. <laughs> so, All right. We switched out the green with just that regular little. We went with the bottle. airbrush colors from USA Art Supply. So. so the fluorescent. Yep. All right. Hit that up. Where's the yellow line at? There we go. It gets in here. You can see that. Yep. some air bubbles. Have you seen the video of my first time airbrushing? It was pretty bad. Guess what? Where does everybody have to start? You got huh? to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. Absolutely. Kind of. Spread now what what back. pattern are you looking to do over here? I think I know the, what it is, but I don't think you told anybody. The fire tiger. No oh, fire tiger. A lot of people's favorite color right there. And the, what do we call this? Saturday night fever, man. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's supposed to be called Talligate. Talligate. Okay, I won't tell you that. All right. So, I got plastics I got to melt. Just give you a quick look of there. A little three inch crawl and pumpkin with black fleck. So, all right. Let's get this next color going. We have the wicked blue, right? Yep. Have you got it tested out of your gun? Make sure. There we go. Definitely oh. not that much. <laughs> I need to do that cut so I can get all the green out. He's adjusting his needle here in his Christmas pajamas in July. Christmas in July, right? I don't care. It's my pajamas. Out here in the garage in his pajamas, painting bait. Whoa! That's a dark one. Did 
you get up there on that back a little bit and match that blue. I'm gonna fade that in. Alright, that's fine. Is that all no. you're doing? Alright. In the brush. In the brush. Have you tested it out to make sure you got purple coming out? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that blue. Yeah. There we go. There's the purple. Well, yeah, there's the purple. You go. Looking pretty good, buddy. Chase the rainbow. Oh, I mean Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> you can't call it Chase the Rainbow because in Paw Patrol, there's a dog police. I don't care. There's nothing wrong with police officers. Yeah, no. And if you're offended by saying police officer, you're an idiot. And you need to just move to somewhere else other than the United States. All right, enough political stuff. We're painting vapes, but that's how I see it. If you don't like police officers, move to another country. In the brush. What's in the brush? Fluorescent hot pink. Hot pink. Fluorescent hot pink, sorry. Today, Junior. <laughs> yeah, it is. Gotta pull your trigger. There you go. All the way up like that. Good. Good. Ooh -wee. I'm gonna be a walleye catching machine there. That, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Finish that up with black. You'll be right there on it. Alright, tell them what we got to do now. We got to kind of step backwards, don't we? Yes, we got to put orange for the crankbait. Yep, sure do. We'll get that started next. Yep. Literally next. Okay, so if you Okay, we've got orange in the brush right now, but I'm just going to tell you, if you're airbrushing two baits at a time, I would put the bait that you have been doing upstream so overspray doesn't, like, splatter onto the bait. Yep, so, that's, that's good. That's a good point, bud. Make sure orange is coming out. Yes. I'm not shaking. What do you mean I'm shaking? You shaking? It's looking pretty good, bud. Oh, I can't see it up there. Bring it down so I can see it. I don't want to have to chase you everywhere. Yep, that looks good. Maybe I'd probably let it go on the sides just a little more. Just a little. Yep, that's awesome. All right, up here, mm -hmm. you might want to get it just a little, not too much. All right, let's see him. That looks pretty good, bud. This one? Yeah. See how this orange is down here yeah. around the belly? Flip it over. Flip it over. Put you some a little bit of orange right there. No, but it's kind of like down a circle. Okay. You want it to match on both sides. Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> Nothing wrong with that, bud. All right. What's next? Black. Black. Black for the top. Oh, open that needle a little bit. Every, cause, huh? Yeah, because there's all these air bubbles. You're getting air bubbles back in there. You don't have paint flowing. So your nozzle may be jammed up. Okay, work with that. Get that black again, yeah, on top. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. And then do stripe, 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 stripe. What? And then do you want to do one stripe at the if back? You want, if you want to. That's what I'm going to do. Or you can leave it just like that. This is what happens when you're an airbrusher. <laughs> That's fine. Make, what make make ridges like that. Like that? Yep, just make round ridges all the way down. Make it your own. Yep. Alright. Now do like the that. other yep. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Making it my own. Yep. Alright, do the other side. Saturday looks Night good. Fever is done. Now we got to get some eyes in it. Some laser it, eyes. Laser eyes. Get it dipped. Laser All right. Eyes. Now we got to figure out what we're going to do on the crankbait, and I'll show you what we're debating about. All right. Isaac needed help holding the stencil on. So there's the stencil we used. That's the pattern we came up with. And I think he's going to try to do a little something extra for this. What are you thinking about doing, bud? For just show him the trick once you're done with it. What trick? You don't remember what you said you were wanting to do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll be right back on that. Saturday night. Fever. Fever. Looks pretty good. All right, Looks now we got to get good. eyes. One more little detail for this one. Look, some eyes for both, and then we're going to get them dipped, hung up, and I don't know. We may dry even for about 12 hours. Yep. And then it's going to be about on. a half a second for you, but it's going to be 12 hours for us. Yep. All right. Let's see what's next. Here's Isaac's little touch that he puts on. He takes a red pen or a red he, sharpie. And just he traces the gill plates. I'm trying to get you up close and personal. Oh, that was bad. It's fine, bud. Alright, right there. Let's get some eyes on these things and get them dipped. There you go. Gold laser eyes. Oh, yeah. What are you putting on here? Just some Silver, clear. regular. Alright. I think this is a little bit of blue in there. Let's see what that looks like. Once you get your meat hook out of the way. It's sticking. Yeah. Alright, get the other one on there. Yeah, Let's get these things dipped. There it goes. To the depths. 
All right, now you got to get one to hang off the end as your drip line. You want to take and put that up over there? Okay. Pull it off to the side. Get it in there, bud. Get it in there. Man, that looks good, buddy. Walleye fishermen are going to go crazy over this one. There it goes. Good job. Go ahead. There goes the cranker. I'm looking up under his armpit. You stink. <laughs> First try, what are you talking about? First yeah. try, what are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. First try. Oh, I don't. First try, Isaac. Exactly. First try, Let's guys. See thing. Turn around here. Other way, other way. There we go, that looks pretty good, buddy. All right, let's look. Like Isaac says, it's about a half a second for y'all, but it's about 12 hours for us to get this KBS to dry. Putting it over here on our drying rack. And then we'll get hooks on them. Ouch. Who's the lucky person that's gonna buy these? We'll see. Alright, that looks pretty good over there, bud. Good. They're done. We have, we used the number three size heavy split rings and the number four laser sharp hooks on the, what is it called? Saturday Night, Saturday Fever. Night Fever. And on the Fire Tiger... I didn't know if it was gonna bleed, but or um, drip, but it didn't drip when I done my thing. This is a size six Fletcher Chirac, or I mean, just the Eagle Claw Laser Sharp, and the size four is the Fletcher Chirac size four. Yeah. Buddy, I think you've done a pretty good job in your first two challenges. And. Uh, um, when we go down to North Carolina in about a week, I'm going to try these out. All right, that'll work. So, yeah. We're flying you down there to meet Mama and Papa. Yeah, they're they're flying us down because we haven't seen them in like a year or so. so. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the spray session of these two baits. Uh, Saturday Night Fever and, and the uh, old Fire, Fire Tiger, Tiger Crankbait. Uh, Coach Andy, uh, Harry, Harry, Coach Andy, what do y'all think? Did, did he do a pretty good job in matching up the colors? I think so. Y'all be good. And this is Larry Johnson from the Outdoor Office. No matter what the season, we got you in our sights. You got that right. Y'all be good.